Hi, Gary Golka here at DAS. I'm holding the Mel Rem in my hand. This is the same Mel Rem that most of you are already familiar with. There is one notable difference. If you look very carefully, we've added another temperature sensor to the top. This is a thermistor. It uh, goes along with the thermocouple that the Mel meter is already uh, part of. Now this particular device what we've done is we've added our hot and cold spot detection circuit to the device to uh, help you discern uh, variations in temperature or deviations uh, of temperature in the field remotely so you could actually place this down someplace and if there's a temperature change you'll be able to uh, hear it with your ears because we're going to be using a one octave tone or step tone for each degree uh, that changes in the environment. So let's turn this on. Let me give you a general overview on how to use it properly and the easiest way to, to get the best use out of the device. First we turn on the Mel meter by holding the power button for four seconds. There's a, an intentional four second delay. It's an on delay uh, that allows you to use it and not have to worry about tapping it and accidentally draining your battery. Now we're getting a little bit of residual measurement here in this room. We have a 400 amp uh, circuit panel about 10 feet away from us, so uh, don't be too concerned about that. We're not really going through any kind of a paranormal event here. All right, so we've got our general purpose display. One of the things that, that I want to point out before we get into the, the other stuff is a very important feature that's often overlooked uh, by folks in the field. You're all familiar with the six buttons on the front panel. The record button is a very important feature. I want to point something out here for, for those of you who already have Mel meters. By tapping the record button, you're essentially activating a min and max or a peak to peak change activation. And what I mean by that is when you use the device, if you encounter any kind of change, EMF or temperature related, this will automatically keep track of the min and max value. So let's invoke Amper's Law here see if we can get something going on. And you can see that the temperature in the room right now is oh, 69.4 degrees. What I'm going to do is I'm going to bring it up a little bit. Brought up 72. I think what I'll do is also see if I can bring it down just a little bit. I brought it down to 53. Okay, now let's say that you encounter some kind of phenomena that, that you get a change in temperature in EMF. To, to be able to show your colleagues or your team members the change, you simply tap this button. It will show you the maximum level of EMF, the maximum temperature uh, variation, which was 80.3. And if you hit it again, it will show you the minimum value. In this case, we started at 0.7 and the temperature dropped down to 53.5. Now, if you didn't have that on, you wouldn't be able to substantiate your claim or your experience. So this actually helps you validate what you feel and sense in the field. Now to resume your session, simply hit the escape hold button, bottom left, and you're back to reading live data without disturbing the captured data that you already have. Very simple to use. I don't know why most, most people should be walking around with that record button on all the time because it's, it's another important feature that it's just not used uh, the right way. So if you don't want the record function on any longer, simply just hold that record button for three seconds and you're back to measuring data live. All right? No physical changes, no data is being recorded uh, and you're back uh, resuming your session uh, without the record button. Okay? So quick summary, activate the record session, hit the min and max to view your data, if you want to resume your session and still continue with your recording, hit the escape button and you're continuing on looking at live data on the screen, but you're always capturing the min and max values. When you're done recording, you don't care for it anymore, hold it for three seconds, you're done. Okay, that's enough of that. you got your backlight that you can turn on and off. You've got your flashlight which can be toggled once it's on with the power button right there. Okay, let's take a look now. Up here we have four lights. This is part of the, the REM feature. We start off with green, yellowish orange color, then we go blue, then we're going to be going red. Again, the temperature circuit is here. Thermocouple is separate. That's part of this display, digital display here. 
you have a mini telescopic antenna which pulls out this particular antenna has been modified a little bit it's actually a little bit more sensitive on the right side we have our baseline this baseline or tear button is what zeroes the tones or the hot and cold spot detection circuit so if there's any natural change in the environment you simply tap that and it zeroes the circuit or baselines to whatever the temperature is in the room on the rear behind the tilt stand we have two buttons we have our hot and cold spot detection and we have our REM circuit we're going to activate both of those now that's our REM circuit and that's our hot and cold spot detection circuit. You can see now that a disturbance of the EM field around that antenna will immediately start to activate these bright colorful LEDs on the top. Now the number of LEDs that light up depends on the distortion of the field and proximity of the source. So just be aware of that. Now the hot and cold spot detection I'm going to see if I can simulate that for you. Okay. I'm going to baseline it. There you go. What I do is I baseline it when it was hot, and the thermal effect of that of my finger on that uh, thermistor brought it up. Now I'm going to zero it because right now it's almost baseline to the room. So having the thermistor exposed, very little thermal influence, very small amount of mass there, so it reacts quite quickly to uh, temperature changes. All right, so this is the MELRAM. The other thing I want to uh, point out that's important is you want to hold the device towards the bottom. You can see that you can actually get disturbances if you're not careful with it. So you can modify some of the sensitivity by simply lowering the antenna. We've made this thing especially sensitive. So simply hold the antenna, pull it down a little bit, and now you can hold it comfortably without triggering it off. You want to keep your fingers away from the top. You want to hold the bottom part of the device. You can activate all the buttons, activate the tear or the baseline button. Melrem with hot and cold spot detection built into it. Power off.